<laughs> All right, that's much better. What are we talking about tonight? Well, we're talking about Hera, Oklahoma. That's right. If you're moving to, relocating to, or moving within the Oklahoma City metro area, and you're wondering, where do I live? Well, this video is on Hera, Oklahoma. We'll go over things like location, schools, um, utilities, restaurants, churches, just everything you need to know macro about Hera, Oklahoma. So, if you're moving to Oklahoma City metro area and you're wondering about where you want to live, this video is something you want to watch. So stick around and enjoy. All right. In case you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos about living in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Metro area. My name is Josh Barnett. I do work as a licensed real estate agent with eXp Realty. If you're moving to the area, these videos, we I enjoy making these videos to help you get to know Oklahoma before getting here. And I want to earn your business when it comes to buying a home or sell a home if you're moving within Oklahoma. Give me a call, number below, shoot me an email or text, and the group of agents that I work with at eXp Realty and I will get to work helping you find your new home. Now, let's get started on everything you need to know when moving to Hera, Oklahoma. Josh, where's Hera at? That's a great question. Well, Hera is located just 32 uh, minutes to the east of Oklahoma City, and that's because it's not right off I-35. You spend about 10 minutes driving north, not I-35, off I-40. You spend about 10 minutes driving north off of I-40 to get into the little town of Hera. Now, there are neighborhoods closer to I-40, so you could be a lot closer to the Oklahoma City metro area. If you live in one of the neighborhoods that are closer to I-40, duh, I just said that. Um, but if you want to get into the heart of Hera and you want to be technical, here's a map right here. It is 33 minutes to drive to the center of Oklahoma City. That's the Bricktown-ish area, the um, Edgemere Park-ish area, the Heritage, what is that called? Heritage Hall? No, no, that's not it. Heritage blah, 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 neighborhood. I'll put the right neighborhood in the edit when I go back and edit this. So 33 minutes. Now look at all this right here. All that right there. That's a lot of mileage to go. Um, so that adds, like I said, about seven, about seven or eight minutes to your commute getting to the heart of Hera. So if you live down here in one of these neighborhoods in these areas, you'll be a lot closer. So I hope that makes sense. Well, that's nice to know how close it is to Oklahoma City, Josh. But are there other metro areas that Hera is close to? Yes. Yes, there are. Take Shawnee, for example. Shawnee's a great place to go shopping, do some recreation. They used to have an awesome um, dollar historical movie theater, but they don't anymore. And for some reason, um, I don't think it can even be used as a movie theater anymore. Not 100% sure on that. You want to fact check that with the crazy Facebook fact checker people. <laughs> but Shawnee's a great place to go shopping too if you don't feel like going to Midwest City, Choctaw, or Oklahoma City to go do your shopping. You can go do it in Shawnee, and Shawnee is only 22 minutes from Hera. 22 minutes from Hera. Now, of course, like I said on the last slide, if you live down here in one of these neighborhoods, it's a heck of a lot closer than 22 minutes because you can just jump on I-40 and go straight over. Well, that's neat to know, Josh, but I just got orders for Tinker Air Force Base, and I was wondering how close is Hera to Tinker Air Force Base? Great question. I've got a slide for that. So clicking on over on that slide, Tinker Air Force Base, 28 minutes, 28 minutes away. And it's pretty much all highway, especially with that new turnpike that they just put in there on um, Luther, along Luther Road. There's a huge turnpike. You can't drive that fast on it going right now at the time of this video. You can't drive that fast on it right now because they're still paving it and stuff. And if you want to get off on the um, Reno exit, you, your SOL on that, your SOL on that as of Friday, 
uh, wife and I had to get to the appointment and we had to get off on Reno and they had it closed off. They were paving it again, again. So um, it is an 80 mile an hour turnpike from I-44 turnpike, the um, EK Gaylord type turnpike. Maybe, maybe that's what it's called. The one that goes to Tulsa. It is 80 miles an hour from that turnpike all the way down to 23rd Street. Um, but from 23rd Street to I-40, it's it's sometimes 45 miles an hour. They're still working on it. Not open yet. Not open yet. Um, so that's a location of Hera, Oklahoma. Hope that helps out. Hope that helps you visualize where it's at. If you want to be close to the city but not in the city, that knowing the location of Hera, Oklahoma is super helpful in looking at that aspect of it. So tell me a little bit more about Hera itself. Sure, I'd be happy to. This whole video is about everything you need to know about Hera, Oklahoma and moving to Hera, moving to Oklahoma. So Hera, Oklahoma does have a pretty well organized uh, city government as of right now. Just had some new elections, had a had a bunch of turnover, some big changes in the city government. But um, we'll see how it pans out. We'll see how it pans out. That's that's how elections are. But uh, two things to know about Hera, Oklahoma is I think the schools are decent. I really do. Now, I am a Hera, Oklahoma graduate, class 99, um, so I am a bit partial. Um, but I think you get out of any school the work you put into it. And my wrestling coaches and some of my other teachers definitely uh, made sure I put the work in because um, they were all over me when I didn't get my work done. But keep in mind... <laughs> 99 was a long time ago. I don't know about today's teachers. I, I don't know. Um, but the schools were great then. And then let me uh, go back to the city government. So Hera does handle the water, trash, and sewer for the direct city area. Um, you can see that right over here. I, I believe everything in this part, the, the tan part right here, I believe that is what handles... The water trash is sewer all that right there um so if you want water trash is sewer through the city of hera then you just give them a call at 405-454-454 and that too when you call in on my sales line the 454 number the reason i have that number is because i grew up in hera oklahoma interesting fact about appreciation realty team at exp realty that is why that number is there because i grew up in here um, but utilities you want to know about utilities 405-454-2951 extension 115 extension 115 um let's go back over here real quick so hair oklahoma uh for the utilities right there we just went over that and then going back over here they did come up with this huge master plan to restructure all of downtown and you can pull that up right here on their website at cityofhera.com cityofhera.com you can pull that up on their website right here and it'll give you maps and visualizations of everything that they're trying to do to the downtown uh, hera area to to really really make it modern and and more friendly i mean it's already friendly they've got sidewalks they got an awesome park downtown lions park i drove by it the other day right next to Claire Reynolds. It's not getting as much love. It's not. They got some cool playground equipment. They do. They still got some cool playground equipment out there. Um, I would definitely take my kids there just because that's where I used to play when I was little. But the main park right there off uh, 23rd Street, when it when it wraps around and starts going south, right on the south side of Russell Bab Elementary, and that neighborhood there to the west of Russell Bab Elementary, that's the main park. It's a huge park. It's an awesome park. Right before I joined the military and went to the Navy, I used to jog at that park because it was brand new when uh, back in 99. I keep I keep checking on the kiddos because uh, I don't want them to wake up while I'm going over this amazing video about everything you need to know about living in Hera, Oklahoma. So not only, um, so let's, let's take this. So you know about the city government, you know about the parks that I just talked about. And then we talked about the utilities, water, trash, and sewer, 405-454-2951. You need electric. When you're moving to Harriet, you need electric. And the electric company is O-G-N-E. O-G-N-E. So um, O-G-N-E.com gets you to their main site, O-G-N-E.com. And then start, stop, and transfer service 
you just click on it there on the left bar is it the left bar on your screen yeah yeah it's the left bar on your screen too you can start stop transfer service right here you just click through here um, I always like to talk to a person but I know more and more companies are getting rid of people and making me talk to automated fake people that aren't people they're they're robots but they're not even a robot they're just a computer but I think you still talk to a person when you want to start or stop your OG knee service and then also if you if your heat is gas one second <sighs> if your heat is gas it's going to be ONG ONG so Oklahoma natural gas right there and then if you want to schedule service uh, just Oklahoma natural gas.com Oklahoma natural gas.com and then if you want to schedule service it's right here schedule service see and this cool little window pops up and um, guest payment create account contact us all right there down at the bottom when you scroll down so Hera water trash is here O G and E for electric and O N G for natural gas now now Hera is one of those rural communities where it is one of those rural communities where um, you may not need Hera water you may be on well water because Hera was a rural town you know back in the day they're pretty modern now um, but whether you're rural town or not rural town a lot of people have water wells but you may have a water well on your property especially if it's a one acre property or more you may have a water well so you don't have to worry about getting water from the city and um, the septic system um, anaerobic aerobic I don't think you'll see too many lagoons when you're buying a house in Hera. You, you might see one every now and then. But uh, anaerobic, aerobic, septic systems, uh, you'll have that too if you have more than 0.75 acres, I believe, in Oklahoma. Uh, you'll want to verify that with DEQ. you want to verify that with DEQ, but I believe that's the case. So, went over the utilities of Hera, Oklahoma. Let's go over different events that Hera, Oklahoma has. Now, um, I, went, I went to the Hera page to get these events because there's... Hera Day, and then they also have Neighborhood Arts, but I know they also have Homecoming. I, I believe they do a big shindig about Homecoming, too. So, just FYI, Hera Days, it's the second Saturday in September. Uh, back when I, I lived there, they used to have a morning, like, 5K run, which is really cool. My mom made me do that. Um, it was fun, and I hated it. I, could, I hated it. I, I probably walked it. It was, a, it was a 5K walk for me. Um, but then when I got into high school and I started wrestling, that was like our warm-up. Coach was like, okay, go go run around the block. And he really meant like a 5K run around all, <laughs> all the schools there. It was, uh, it was uh, it's mind-blowing. But it definitely makes you grow up. definitely makes you grow up. So if, you, if, if your kids can't be coached, when they grow up, they won't be. They won't make good employees. So you definitely want your kids to be good coaches. I don't know who said that. You know, hashtag John, whoever said that. I don't know who said it. I read it off a Facebook post on a baseball court thingy once, I think. But um, you want to you want to get your kids in sports, get them coachable. But I I think you don't have to put them in high impact. You want your kids to be coached and enjoy sports, but they don't have to do high impact sports. You know, let them do basketball, tennis, um, track and field. If they Sports are good for kids. <laughs> uh, City Hair History, super interesting. It had three names in six years. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It doesn't go into details on that. But it, it was originally named um, Sweeney. And it was named something else, too, and named Hera. Look, look at this right here in this uh, history of Hera thing. Pennington. Yeah, Pennington. Is that right? I know it was named two names in less than six years, but I think it was... Yeah, yeah. Sweeney, presently Hera, formerly Pennington. Why did it have three names in six years? Super weird. And that's all from a period of 1896 to uh, 1899. Is that right? Am I reading that right? I don't know. Weird. But it's another one of your typical Oklahoma towns that basically the American government let the settlers go in and take it from the Indians. So 
uh, another Indian treaty that wasn't, um, you know, there's not much we can say about that. Um, it just is what it is. So, <sighs> all right, let's go on to the cost of living in here. So, cost of living in Hera, Oklahoma, compared to all of Oklahoma, the overall, it's a 90.8, 90.8 when bestplaces.net, according to bestplaces.net, bestplaces.net, you can see that right there. And then also the groceries are 96.7, but I think that's because there's mainly one grocery store in town, Harps, and I'm going to show you that a little bit later. So with only one grocery store in town and being being in a food distribution network that's not like, like a Walmart or, or something like that, they probably have to pay higher to get their goods to the store. So, of course, that, that cost gets passed on to the consumer. But the benefit of being able to run down to Harps and get your groceries rather than having to drive 20 minutes to Choctaw or 22 minutes to Shawnee to get your groceries, it's worth it. It is so worth it. Just doing your shopping there in Hera. Healthcare cost in Hera, Oklahoma is higher than healthcare cost in the state of Oklahoma. And it looks like by 2%, by 2%. And that's probably just because it's a, it's a rural community again. It's a rural community. So um, how's it cost according to all of Oklahoma? is 64.3%, 64.3% and um, national, compared to the national. And then Oklahoma in general, housing cost is 54%. But, but those numbers are going to go up next year. They are. Housing has shot through the roof here in Oklahoma with all the um, people leaving the blue states, getting away from the government that's oppressing them in those blue states and coming to America, Oklahoma state, you know. Uh, the housing has definitely gone up drastically, drastically over the last year. So those numbers are going to be a lot higher. It'll probably be closer to 85% of the national average, probably, 80, uh, in Hera when you're talking about housing costs. So cost of living in Hera, Oklahoma, overall, is 90.8% of the national average. 98.90.8% of the national average. So, well... Where do I eat when I live in Hare, Oklahoma? What if I don't want to drive 20 minutes to go to Choctaw or if I don't want to drive 23 minutes to go to Shawnee? Hey, don't worry. Hare has got you covered. Uh, starting at the um, starting on 23rd Street, also known as Highway 62, on the northwest, northwest side of town, and then we'll just cruise down towards I-40. You've got a Taco Mayo right here. See that? Taco Mile, you got a Sonic, you got an Eagle One Pizza, and then some of these will have to be confirmed. Subway, Subway, um, I've ate at that Subway a lot, really enjoyed it. Some of these will have to be confirmed if they're still open. I believe they're all up to date and accurate, but you want to confirm. Call ahead, call ahead, don't go to one of these places saying, wow, Josh said this place was great, uh, but it's not open. Call ahead, okay? Uh, Black Raven Club Pub, Black Raven Pub, and then you scroll way down here to Reno, to Reno, where they did all this new development right here. T place looks totally different. It was a cornfield. It was literally a cornfield back in 99 when I was growing up there. But now it's a, it's a new development. And this little section right here is gated. And it leads into a gated section right here. But this gate, someone hit it. Someone hit it, knocked it off. It's not sitting there as of two weeks ago. Well, it's sitting there. It's just not working. Um, but this gate into this section, that one still works. That one still works. Um, Merle's Bar and Grill right there. Aurora's, I can't spell. And, and that's not a reflection of Hera. I cheated on my spelling test. I literally did not learn to spell as a young man. But hey, we got word processor now and Google corrects everything for me when I type it out. Um, talk to text, still a, little, still a little messed up, but it does work. Um, Aurora, Aurora, Mexican restaurant. A Mexican restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> scroll it on down here you'll get down to 29th street and you've got your brahms ice cream and dairy store that was the place that was a place back in the day to get your food brahms ice cream and dairy store you got new china restaurant mcdonald's calico joe's and then scroll on down you got domino's pizza and another subway domino's pizza another subway can't go wrong with the subways and then that's really it um as far as restaurants there in the Hera, oklahoma Area, but if you do want to cruise over to the casino, so here's the middle of hair right here, and you jump on 62 and you continue, you continue east. We do have the casino, the Kickapoo Casino, right here, and they've got restaurants in it, of course. 
So there's restaurants in it. So that's food in Hera, Oklahoma. Let's talk about harps. Uh, back when I was there, it was my very first job. My very first job. And it was called Country Boys back then. Country Boys. It was part of the IGA Food Network International Grocers Association. And it was awesome. I was a sacker. I got to talk to everyone. I got to carry their groceries out. It was it was so fun. I never made it to Stalker because a couple of my buddies got me a job at a lumberyard. Totally changed my life. Amazing. So thankful for that. Really helped me grow up. Um, but, uh, yeah, grocery sacker. It was uh it was enjoyable. I, I liked it. I liked it. I got to talk to so many people there. Um, but Harp's Grocery Store. Swing by. Grab something. I mean, they got a, they got a little deli. If, if you just if you, you want to get the family, like, chicken. Or if you want to get the family... What are those what are those things in the chicken's throats? <laughs> gizzards. If you want to get the family gizzards, they used to have them. Don't know if they still do, but you can... You can get some gizzards. Never go wrong with uh, gravy and gizzards, right? God, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, let's move on. So that that's where you do your shopping. Your grocery shopping is Harps down off of 23rd and Harrow Road. That's called Harrow Road. Can't believe I forgot that. South Harrow Road and 23rd. That's where you do your grocery shopping. Super awesome place. Next time I'm in Harrow, I'll try to do a video walkthrough of the grocery store. I will. It's always difficult doing that because... I don't want to get people in the video, so I look kind of like a creep, like videoing. But uh, but it's it's doable. I'll try to get a video of it, and then I'll and then I'll put a review of Harps on there. Um, it, I'm biased. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I, I graduated in Hera. I grew up in Hera. I spent two years in California, but I was mainly in Hera the whole time. Hera Public Schools, such a cool community. Such a cool community. Um, in less than a mile square. In less than a mile square, you've got all the schools. You've got amazing Claire Reynolds. Claire Reynolds, located over by Lions Park that I was talking about earlier. And located in this awesome, awesome 80s neighborhood. In Oklahoma, you might not be aware, but in 86, um, some bank in Oklahoma was doing a bunch of loans that they shouldn't have been doing to a bunch of oil companies. Um, that they didn't have the money to actually back the loans up. And then, of course, oil crashed with the OPEC wars. I believe it was 86. And uh, it all crashed. That bank crashed. And you can see tons of neighborhoods in Oklahoma, not just Hera, but all over Oklahoma. They've got all these houses from the 80s for about half the neighborhood and then nothing again until the late 90s. And that's because that's how long it took to recover to start building again in those neighborhoods. And to bring businesses back to these uh, small rural towns. Um, so the, the neighborhood right next to Clara Reynolds where I was getting at is half of it's those old 80s style houses. Really cool. Um, you've got some two bed one car garages. You've got some three bed three car garages. Just the old style ranch houses with the oak uh, post oak trees and um, pecan trees and stuff like that. Super cool neighborhood. I'm going to do a video on driving through Hare, Oklahoma, and I, I hit that neighborhood up so you guys can see it, and uh, that'll be coming up later. But um, So you got Claire Reynolds, long story short, you got Claire Reynolds, great cool elementary school, great playgrounds. I remember the best recesses on those playgrounds. And then from there, the kids go over to uh, Russell Babb Elementary School. Well, that's how it was when I was in it, but it looks like there's another school. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let me let me click on the actual school real quick so I get you the right data. Okay, so okay, so Virginia Smith Elementary School is your pre-K and first grade, and then the kids graduate up to Claire Reynolds, second and third grade, and then they go to Russell Babb fourth and fifth grade, then they go to Hera Middle School sixth through eighth grade, and then they go over to Hera High School ninth through twelfth grade. So, okay, we'll, we'll run that through real quick. Virginia Smith, pre-K and first grade. Claire Reynolds, second and third grade. Russell Babb, fourth to fifth. Middle school, sixth through eighth. And then high school, ninth through twelfth. I really don't think ninth graders should be with twelfth graders, in my opinion. But, you know, sometimes you just got to work with what you got to work with. So your kids are going to start off here. Virginia Smith, pre-K and first. Claire Reynolds, second and third. Russell Babb. 4th and 5th, huh? I remembered 4th and 5th, 
Harrow Middle School, 6th, 7th, and 8th, and Harrow High School, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. When I was going to high school, you didn't have to be in a certain grade to park in the high school parking lot. I don't know if that's changed or not now, um, but, you know, it, it won't affect too much. I mean, there's not too many 16-year-olds that are still in the uh, 10th grade. Um, but just FYI, that we did have parking, and we did not have open campuses when I was there. So if, if you are concerned about open campuses at lunchtime for your kids, that's definitely something you want to call. So if you want to call Hera Schools right here, the high school is 405-454-2416, 405-454-2416 to call the high school, get some info on that. And then here are the other schools numbers right there. And that's this information is found at harrisschools.com. Harrisschools.com is where you find that information. That's neat info about the schools, Josh, but what about their ratings? Well, like I said at the very beginning, you get out of school what you put in it. So if it's a horrible school, um, as long as you do your homework or you pay attention to class, and my problem when I was a student is I couldn't, I couldn't focus, so that's what I was always getting on to. Um, I just, it, school was boring. I, I really didn't like it. But, um, but the homework, I would do my homework and then I'd learn it when I wasn't in the school environment, but as in the home isolated environment, getting work done, that's when I'd actually learn it. But according to greatschools.org, Russell Bab Elementary rated a nine, Hare High School rated a six, Hare Middle School rated a five, and Claire Reynolds Elementary School rated a four. Okay, so greatschools.org, greatschools.org. Over on Northeast 10th and Dobbs Road, there's a vet right here, the hair vet. That's where you go to take your animals. And then there's also a vet real quick. Where is 23rd Street? 29th? Yeah, there's also Deer Creek Animal Hospital. So there's two vets in the hair area too. Two vets that you can take your animals to. So jumping on over to churches, you know, got to go worship God. Got to go um, give the glory to God. Things like that. Hera does not um, does not lack churches. They've got plenty of churches, according to Google. Uh, you got Lighthouse Family Church, Legacy Baptist Church. You got Hera Church of Christ, Hera Church of the Nazarenes, Sovereign Grace Bible Church, Saint Teresa's. I don't know that word. Uh, First Baptist Church, Hera Downtown Ministry Center. That's part of the Baptist Church, I think. Um, Hera, that's not showing me churches anymore. Okay. Let's, <laughs> Hare United Methodist Church, Hare Church of the Nazarenes, Hare Church of Christ, Hare Nazarene Church Family, Hare First Assembly of God, Hare Lutheran Church, Fellowship Bible Church, Assembly of God Church, St. Teresa of Avila, um, Sovereign Grace Bible Church, and then some more churches, Life Family Center, Downtown Hare Ministries, First Baptist, Hare Church, Judo Team, that's not a church, that's a Judo Team. And yeah, that names all the churches. So we've got lots of different churches to choose from when it comes to doing your worship in Hera, Oklahoma. And just Google it. Just Google it and go do the visitor thing, you know, where they give you a little sticker. Some churches give you a little sticker to identify as visitor so everyone knows to treat you real nice. So that, <laughs> not, not the... Not the let you in any of the any of the stuff they don't want you to know. <laughs> I, that's probably not true, but I always thought it was weird where they're like, "Hey, it's a visitor. Put a put a sticker on there. And make everyone say hi to him." No, just be normal. I just want to just want to try the church out. I just want to get a feel for it. Quit being nice to me. Like, be real. Be real with me. All right. Um, Hera has it set up where you can go from a kiddo in Virginia Smith Pre K Elementary all the way to assisted living center like you don't have to leave Hera if you don't ever want to there's two different nursing homes in Hera Oklahoma there's the Wolf Living Center at Summit Ridge and then the, then there's the Hera Nursing Home Center and apartments and I believe the apartments are uh, more independent living and then of course the nursing center is uh, is the other type of living not the independent but the the other one the other one so that's lots of great information on Hera, Oklahoma. Uh, one more thing before I let you go, uh, housing, housing. If you're gonna live in Hera, Oklahoma, you need to know the cost of housing. 
Hera has houses ranging from only $135,000 all the way up to $3.5 million. So you've got a gambit of choices when it comes to housing in Hera, Oklahoma. Currently, at the time of this video, there were 14 homes available for sale with an average price of... My average is messed up. Let's go to the median. With the median, that $3.5 million one's messing up my average. But I want to give you true and up-to-date information. But the median price currently is $317,500. $317,500. But like I said, you've got $135,000 all the way up to $3.5 million homes in Harrah, Oklahoma that you could choose from. Now, looking at the sold comps, those are actives. Those are actives. If you want a real idea on what is actually selling in Hera, Oklahoma, selling in Hera, Oklahoma, the, um, excuse me, over the last 30 days, 11 houses have sold in Hera, Oklahoma, with the average price of $187,870. $187,870 with a median of $183,000. So those are really tight numbers. So those are really good comps when the numbers are that close together. Average days on the market of eight days with a high of 26 days. High of 26 days over the last 30 days at the time of this video. So that's the housing market in Hera, Oklahoma. Let's switch back over here to Hera's main page. They've got some great scrolling art right here. Okay, but I'm actually gonna switch this over. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this brief overview of everything you need to know about living or moving to Hera, Oklahoma. And I'm sorry I keep hitting my mic occasionally. If you're hearing a blast of noise, it's because I'm occasionally hitting my mic. But um, from cost of living to restaurants to churches to schools to utilities that you want to initiate when you move to Hera, Oklahoma, that's what this video was about. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, are able to get value from this video. And if you are, and if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. This channel does everything about living in, moving to, relocating to, neighborhood tours, home tours about Oklahoma and Oklahoma real estate. My name is Josh Barnett. I am a real estate agent with EXP Realty here in Oklahoma. EXP Realty is an international company, but I'm licensed in Oklahoma. The group of agents that I work with and I, we're here to earn your business. We want to help you buy and sell your homes and land in Hera, in Hera, Oklahoma and Oklahoma in general. So give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email so I can get in touch with you and then we can strategize exactly what the best move is for you when moving to Oklahoma. And if you're watching this and you ever thought about a career in real estate, hit me up. We're always bringing on new mentors and showing them how awesome EXP is for their real estate business. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next clip and then right about now some other videos are popping up of other cool rural towns that i've done videos on like this video right here or this video right here and then there's also a little subscribe button that you can click right here to subscribe to the channel to not miss out on any of my other videos that come up all right guys we'll see you on the next clip